Well, hello there, it's Green and welcome to another speed build. So, last week on Twitter I asked you what should I build for this week and essentially there were four options, three options I guess, an eco house, a jungle house or a bit like island house and there was this fourth option that I always like to include on my polls for those who want to be part of the poll or click a button but they don't really want to affect the results um, of the poll so it was you do you boo <laughs> um, and the top answer was actually two it was an eco house and a jungle house both with 32 percent second came the you do you boo <laughs> and fourth came an island house so uh, when I saw the results, I was like, ooh, cool, I can choose whichever of the two I want to do. And I was thinking, and I was thinking, what do I want to do? And I was like, ooh, let's do a jungle house, because I really wanted for a long time to do a jungle house. And then I thought again, let's do a Nico jungle house. You know, let's mix those two together. And I built a Nico house, and it's so cool. Like, I am so proud of it. I finished the entire exterior and I went to the interior and I was like, okay, cool, now I can furnish it. So excited. I was so excited. And I realized because the whole thing was round, it was a circle, I couldn't, I couldn't put the stairs and I got so mad because like it was the most annoying thing. Like you couldn't cut off essentially the parts of the circle. And there was this area only that you could put stairs or like cut it off. And I realized if we had like circular stairs, round stairs, that I could make it through. So I decided to wait for the update, like next Tuesday is it, I think. And then I'll release the video. So <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for the ladder update for that one. And I was so excited and after I realized that, you know what, I spent two hours building the exterior, making it look cool, just so I cannot freaking finish the build. I got so upset, I'm like, why the hell did I choose houses and houses only? Like, I don't do houses, why did I thought that would be a good idea? I don't know. So I was very upset with myself and I was feeling very defeated and I was like, you know what, let's do the other option, <laughs> let's do a beach house, the one with the least votes, 14% um, and I decided to do it eco, so I added solar panels from By the Bag and I added a wind mill, wind power, I don't, I don't recall how it's called, but like that thing that generates wind energy from wind. And I don't know, I think it looks cool. It's not that different from a house that I would usually do if you like exclude the solar panel and the wind energy. Wind turbine, that's the word. Uh, but it's modern and if you've been around here for long you know that I don't do modern houses <laughs> I'm not good at them so this was particularly interesting so if you see the exterior what I decided to do was to embrace the water embrace the natural stuff from Shilani like the rocks the plants and everything and use a lot of wood inside and outside and a lot of plants i decided to go with a black element because i feel like it gives it some sort of a modern vibe um and i was really excited sulani is definitely my favorite word to build in i have a soft spot for islands and like i don't know anything tropical and beachy can you tell that i am greek does it so uh, but uh, yeah, so the interior, I had no idea what to do other than that. I wanted it to be, again, very natural and very greenish. And I have no idea how a Nico interior looks like. So I had to Google it. 
And let me tell you, not many options came up. Like, you obviously have a lot of natural light to use as less of energy as possible. And I guess you have a lot of plants. I don't really know why that is, but I thought it looked extra cool. So I did some tricks in the exterior and the interior. So you see, you will see like all around those um, wall plants, the green ones that you're currently seeing behind the TV. They are all around on the exterior. And a couple weeks ago, there is this Simmer, a YouTuber, who I've collabed in the past and she's totally amazing and totally kind. Um, her name is Grumpy Lynn Sims. She released those rooms with wall plants. So what she did was took the plants from Jungle Adventure, who are normally in the ground, <laughs> like ferns or whatever you want to call them, and she rotated them using the tool mod and created those uh, cool looking wall plants that looks like they're climbing and they're just so cool. I was like, ah, this would match perfectly here. So I went ahead and downloaded that room like a thousand times to use it here. And then I saw she had rocks. So what she did, she took the rocks from Island Living and essentially she rotated them again with the tool mod to create, I guess, wall rocks. And I felt like that was the coolest thing. And it really matched the whole vibe that I was going for, you know, using the elements around the environment and using a lot of greens and stuff like that. So I did a lot of accents with those rocks and I think they turned out super cool. Like, I never thought of that. And honestly, it looks amazing. I am obsessed with the final result. Uh, what else did I do? Oh yeah, this is a bookcase slash staircase and I saw the seeming Spoonie, I think that's her name, um, do this thing with a kitchen cabinet, a kitchen pantry was it, and she rotated wall cells to create like those square cubes and I was like, oh, that's so cool, I never thought of that. So I decided to create like a weird bookcase underneath the stairs and I'm really obsessed with how it turned out. Like, it looks amazing. It does not look like you can make that in The Sims. Uh, so something that I had a lot of trouble with this house, <laughs> or I guess any house for wet matters, is doing the layout. It was terrible for me. Like, I'm not kidding you, I took... 30 minutes um, rearranging rooms till I found the perfect layout because I wanted the house to have a big living room obviously and I wanted the living room to overlook outside because like come on you live on an island you have this amazing view it's you you cannot like see it all the time like you have to see it constantly and I wanted the kitchen to be like normal sized and I wanted obviously a big bedroom upstairs and I wanted a second room like a study salas guest room downstairs so you could easily convert it if you want to a kids bedroom or whatever you wanted because I feel like would you download it if it was only one room I'm not sure like I feel like it's good to have the ability to grow into a house you know when you download it um and upstairs that's the reason why the layout took me so long. It wasn't to create the rooms, like the two rooms, to fit two rooms. It was because I wanted a freaking jacuzzi, like a triangular tube bathtub in the bathroom. Like, I was so sold on it. When I went to make the layout, it was the first thing that I thought, oh, this house would rock, like a bathtub like that, a triangular bathtub, a jacuzzi, whatever you want to call it. And I was like, I want that. <laughs> and it took forever to make it fit and I had to like nudge it into the wall. <laughs> but I made it fit and I am so proud. Like the layout is kind of weird, yes, I'll give you that. But I am so happy with how it turned out. Also, you might notice in the kitchen, I had so much trouble 
trying to decide how I will divide the kitchen with the living room. And originally I used dividers, room dividers from City Living. And then I tried, but they looked wrong. They cut off way too much of the view. And then I tried every single divider, room divider that we have in the game. And I was like, God damn it, nothing looks good. And then I thought, what's my problem? It blocks too much of the view, so let's use a window. And then I got the windows and I recall that two weeks ago I saw a build from, again, another simmer. A lot of inspiration <laughs> from other people came in playing this build. Um, a winged llama, if I'm not mistaken, uh, more just winged llama, one of the two. Uh, or the winged llama, but you get the gist. <laughs> and they did this really cool industrial house. And what they did was create a greenhouse using the... I don't know how they're called. The things that we got with city living that you can essentially place in the floor. Glass floor, maybe? And essentially just look in the water and the fish is underneath you. Like every boat has the... Every boat has that, like, travel boat, tourist boat. Um, and they rotated it again with a tool mode and they created windows, glass windows, glass panels and everything. And I thought that would look so cool as a room divider and it fit perfectly. And I was so excited. So we came to the bathroom and... Obviously, apart from the big bathtub, it's very inconvenient uh, when you play in the game to only have a bathtub and not a shower uh, because your scene takes way too long. So I always like to include both a bathtub and a shower in my builds. Uh, and I was like, okay, we need to fit a bathtub and a shower. And that was where the star struggle came from because as you can see, the bathtub fits. Uh, but where do you add the sour? And I added the sour like in that little nook, but the seam couldn't access it. And I had to nudge it a bit and it finally worked. I was like, hallelujah. Uh, but <laughs> the sour was there, but it was looking very bland. And I couldn't use any of the actual built hours. Like I had to use the one from university because it was so tiny and it can fit literally everywhere. Um, so I was like, oh my god, this looks so bad, what do I do? I really hated it. Like, I was not happy. You cannot have a house looking modern and cool and just have this so boring sour. So what I did was I decided to create like a false or faux, fake, however you want to say it, glass door for the sour. And I used those uh, glass panels, glass I don't know, tights, however you want to call them, to create like the, how is it called? Yeah, the glass of the sour. And I was so happy. And I was so excited. <laughs> like, you don't even know uh, with that, the fact that that worked. Um, and I thought, okay, those look so good. And I wanted to use more of those glass, I don't know, floorings? I don't know how they're called. So I decided, let's add one here, out here, and let's create a reef underneath to have faces again as the boats have, so you can look underneath that. In this area, I have no idea what to do, I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> like, when I'm done with the interior, when I finish the exterior, I obviously move to the interior, and then if there is like any details to be put on the exterior, after I'm done with the interior, I'm just, I, I can't, <laughs> I'm like, how? How do I decorate? So this area is really bland, but I'm really happy with that glass floor. However, that particular glass floor, floor causes a bug. You might saw that the floor from like the main build glitches, the patio area or the balcony area, the open area anyways, it glitches and it appears, I don't know, how am I supposed to say that? Like it's floating, like it doesn't exist. So if you delete that glass floor from that sunbathing area, it will be fine. I had to find that the hard way 
because I was so annoying how it was glitzing. I'm like, this cannot be happening again. Like, what the hell did I do to make that happen? So I had to Google and Google and Google and someone was saying uh, it was caused by I don't even know what and then like a YouTube video. Uh, and then I was like, oh, maybe it's those glass floorings. And yeah, turns out it was. So this is this week's speed build. I hope you like it. It wasn't my stronger build, but whatever. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you have an amazing day and take care. Bye.